Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. I have a small haul <clears throat> to show you. Uh, I went to the Goodwill in Brunswick, the other Goodwill I go to, but I really, I didn't intend on staying more than a half hour. I thought I could get at least, you know, maybe $40 worth of things. But I was there for a couple hours. It was very slim pickings today. I couldn't find much of anything, but I managed to spend, I think, $45. I don't have my slip here. But <clears throat> I did uh, get another 35% off coupon. So whatever isn't half price, half price tags were red today, easy to see. Uh, whatever isn't half price was 35% off because I had 35% uh, off coupon. So uh, <laughs> so my sister says all she sees is my house. I just came on, so maybe she'll, I don't know. Uh, let me start out of the bag. I haven't unloaded this or anything. I got a, uh, mostly clothes, but I got a few other things that I'm trying to get other things other than clothes. No, nothing really exciting, but at least it's a start. I got another tie, uh, navy blue little squares, and it's a Ralph Lauren uh, men's silk tie. So add those to the other ties. I have not listed anything. Uh, she got me. I haven't listed anything from the, from the haul on Wednesday yet. I have been bad. I've been messing with my chickens because I'm trying to integrate my little chickens, which are nine weeks old pretty soon, they aren't full size, but they're almost full size. They're like a small hen. And you have to integrate them with the other, with my two big hens. And if you do it wrong, they're going to fight. Uh, I mean, the big hens will fight the little guys. Even though there's a lot more of them, there's seven babies. And there's only two hens, so we'll see how it goes. I've been putting them together with a uh, plastic fence in between them so that they are next to each other and they can see each other, but they can't uh, get in a fight. All right, here is a women's uh, sort of a gold color beige uh, by Banana Republic in the size medium. I got it because it's all merino wool merino wool and i don't know if anybody knows what a merino wool merino uh sheep looks like you should look it up they're amazing uh susan a wells is doing uh some videos about brands or not brands but what clothes are made out of the natural fibers and she had pictures of different types of sheep that uh, things are made out of. But I was really impressed with the with the merino wool sheep. So I got this sweater. I didn't find many women's things except, well, I'll show you. Uh, I always go to the men's department first because I find more things in men's department. In the men's department plus men's things sell for a little bit more than women's this is a joseph a bank uh, size large merino wool it's a sweater vest uh, in this brown it's very soft i picked that up that was half price that one and that had a red tag this one is not half price and this was so nicely starched and uh, going to be all wrinkled now it has been in the bag. But it's by Land's End, uh, uh, Subpoena Pinpoint Oxford. And I got it because 18 and a half 
and a 36 sleeve, and it's a tall size. So it's this uh, blue and white stripe, and it's a, a button down. It's a button down. It's not a slim fit. I wish it was a slim fit, but uh, I'm hoping this will hang out. I don't. It doesn't say not. Doesn't say non iron. I may have to press this a little bit, <laughs> but it's an. It's a really nice big size and a nice pattern, so I got it. Okay, I went in the women's dresses, which I hardly ever find anything in women's dresses, but uh, I found a few things. Uh, this is by White House Black Market. I just thought it was a cute uh, knit. It's one of their signature knits. It is a size medium. It's a really short little, short little dress. I think it's like, it's above the knee. It's like a mini dress. And it uh, has layers, like flouncy layers. And it's a little bit fitted on the waist. It does have a waistline, but black and white. I thought it was a really cute knit dress. I got that. Nothing's in order here, but here's a pair of shorts, or they have webbing. Well, no, they don't have webbing inside. The, the pockets are sort of webbed, webbing stuff, but they aren't, it, it isn't a bathing suit, it's shorts. By, it is by Boardwalk, which does make surf, uh, surf uh, bathing suits, board shorts <laughs> by Boardwalk. Uh, this is the surfer's walking short. It's good in the water or on land, and it's a size 34. So you could go in the water with this. It's this nice, uh, light fabric that would dry really fast if you got it wet. And uh, it says uh, Rip Curl. And that's their logo, Rip Curl. Nice pair, of, nice looking pair of shorts. I think I just jammed in here. Oh, this was a big find. I've never found this before. And I couldn't believe it at this uh, Goodwill that I found uh, this dress by Vince in a medium. This is just a long sleeve, plain black dress with a scoop, sort of a scoop neck. It's uh, below the knee. It's just a plain black dress with uh, long sleeves by Vince. And it has an exposed zipper on the back, if you see that. Size medium. So that's my first Vince I've gotten. And I found two Bowden uh, dresses. There is the uh, name Bowden, B-O-D-A-N, uh, or D-E-N, I'm sorry. This is a size six, but it's a really loose fit. It just uh, sort of hangs. And uh, it's, I think it's above, like above, right at the knee in this purple and green floral color. It doesn't have a zipper or anything. You just uh, you just slide it on. It's big enough that it just slides on. <clears throat> Another Bowden dress. This has a little more. I can find the top to it. B O D E N, yes. Bowden, there's a tag. It's uh,
Well, it doesn't say the size right there. I'll define the size. But <clears throat> it has a waistline and sort of a Y neckline. And it's a real uh, slinky type of fabric. It's below the knee. It's floral. Uh, just cap sleeves on there. So those are good brands uh, of women's clothes. Vince and Bowden. And here's a pair of shorts by O'Neill. These are, O'Neill also makes board shorts. Uh, but they make regular shorts too. So these black and gray, a little bit of blue in there. Men's, uh, these are size 31. Oh, this, this doesn't count. I bought myself a pair of socks. I love knee socks, so. Oh. I took a chance on this. This is, uh, this won't sell for a tremendous amount, but it's a really nice herringbone, uh, gray wool, all wool jacket. And it's lamb's wool, 100% lamb's wool. And it's by Joseph and Feiss. It's a two button, single vent, just a really nice looking sport coat. When I looked it up, even the lamb's wool, they, I may get $25, $30 for it, but that's about what it's going for. But it's okay. It was, uh, sport coats are six, I think 695 or 650 and then 35% off of that. So I didn't pay much for it. And then I found another men's jacket. This is, I should take these things out. I know I, you like me to do this stuff on the table. And I'm, it's so much more organized when I do it that way. But I'm in a hurry. My hands are out in the big yard. And I don't want anything to get them. Even though it's only a quarter to six. I mean, it's not dusk or anything. But I usually try to watch them when they're out there. This is that same uh, kind. The Eddie Bauer uh, Weather Edge. That I got... The lat at, uh, on Wednesday, I got a, an olive colored one. This is a large tall, and it's a navy blue. And this has the hood. The other one was missing its hood. This has its hood. And it's just a nice uh, a nice jacket. It's, it's not winter. It's like in between seasons, you know, like fall, spring, fall, lightweight jacket. Sort of, I think weather tech, weather edge means it's sort of uh, uh, like water resistant. So I get that. One more thing, I think, here besides of in the clothes. Now this this looks dirty to me. However, it's by free people. I very I think it's an uh, it's a uh, anthropology brand. Uh, but they have this little metal thing and then this long tag. It's anthropology. It's like a little jumper top, and it's pink. It's short above the knee. And the fabric is sort of, I don't know what you call that, but um, it's a knit. And I, it is washable because I checked. I'm going to wash this because it does, it just seems a little drab, but maybe that's what the color it's supposed to be. I don't know. It's sort of a nude pink, pinky uh, nude color. 
I'll see if I can brighten it up without wrecking, wrecking it. Okay, that is the clothes I got. Now, I got a couple other things. I found this uh, calculator. The reason I got it is by Texas Instruments, and I've seen them people talk about Texas Instrument calculators. I mean, they come in huge ones, too. Uh, this isn't so huge, but it does a lot of stuff that I don't have any idea what it is. But the problem is it has this little dent in the outer screen. See that little dent? But you can turn it on, and it, it works, you know. It works. And I worked what I could, I knew how to do, but, uh, and it clears and everything. So I'm thinking, I'll see what I can get. I haven't even looked it up. Uh, the other thing is, you ready? <laughs> A jumbo Emerson, uh, jumbo universal remote how big this is. Maybe I should keep this for myself. <laughs> but uh, it was $2 with 35% off. So I have to put a battery in here and see if this works. I assume it does. I mean, it looks in fine uh, condition here. So that's another thing they talk about. I don't think these things go for very much, but, uh, you know, it's a start. Now, ashtrays. Who would have thought? My husband was a smoker. I hated it. We had probably had lots of ashtrays that I immediately got rid of. Uh, ashtrays are becoming, you don't see them anymore because people aren't smoking anymore and if they do smoke they're not smoking inside hopefully so the reason I bought this one was because just plain it has a gold edge is because it is by Hall Pat Pottery and I know about Hall because I was an antique dealer and collectibles and that's a collectible uh, ceramic piece so it's there's no chips or anything on it and uh does sort of worry me that the number on it is 666 <laughs> but other than that it's uh this was four dollars or 35 percent off so they knew that this one was by a brand that's uh collectible so that is what i got at the uh at Goodwill today. Not much, but something when it you yeah, put it in with the rest of the stuff I got on Wednesday. All right. Now I went to two garage sales. Uh well three really, but uh two were on the same street. And at the first one I got a pet carrier. It's canvas. It's uh it's supported by metal poles. It's very sturdy. And it's about the size, my dog wouldn't fit in it. It's, it would be the size of a medium, medium dog, like a Sue Your Lhasa would have fit in this. It would be the size for the Lhasa Opsa. And Opso, Lhasa Opso, yeah. Like a medium, not a tiny dog, but a medium dog. But, um, so there was a little kid running, uh, manning the garage sale because I didn't get there till after one o'clock. So I go in and I see this and I, it was marked. I said, uh, I, I said, how much is this? Cause it didn't have a uh, tag on it. He says, that's $15. And I said, will you take 10? He's, or no, he said it was 20. That's what he said. It, it was $20. Now it has a zip, the top zips and the side end zips. It's really nice. It, it looks like it's never been used. 
So <clears throat> he said, $20. I said, would you take 10? And he, this kid was only like eight, <laughs> eight or nine. I said, uh, he, he said, uh, I said, would you take 10? He said, how about 15? And I said, how about 12? And he said, 13? And I said, sold. <laughs> so I got it for $13. It's a really nice one. But it's big enough to cart at least four of my chickens out to the outside instead of just taking two at a time in that tiny carrier I have. So I'm going to line it. And I'm going to use it for that right now. But then I'll have this really nice carrier. Somebody needs a carrier. But uh, so I got that. And then I think that's all. That's all I got at that little boy's garage sale. And then right next door, they had another garage sale. So in that garage sale, I saw these. Now, these are for me. Uh, the of glove and uh, they were a dollar and I didn't know they came with two one has the lines on it and just one is just I mean it's all insulated the same but I guess you have two gloves on and one is to pull the racks out with I guess but a dollar so <clears throat> I always wanted to try these when I you see them on TV to see if they really work so I can try them now for a dollar. So these are for me. And they also had a universal uh, remote and this was by Philips and it's still new in the package and this was two dollars. And I didn't ask for anything less. So I just bought it at $2. So <clears throat> those two things. And then they had a huge roll of plastic fencing. And it had just come from Home Depot. Because I've, I've priced this. It's expensive, these big rolls of plastic fencing. This is four feet high. And the, the little holes are just that big. So it's really good for the chicks right now, the young chickens. So. I need I needed something like that for to divide the run in half. So it came at a perfect time. So it was marked $18. And I asked if she would take uh 15 and she did. But I know this these cost like $50 at the store, these big rolls. <clears throat> so I think $15 was a good price for it. But that's for me. That's not for uh, eBay. So that's what I got. Nothing really exciting. I started to looking. Now, you should look up ashtrays on eBay and see there's ashtrays going. Of course, they're, they're brands like connected with clothing like Gucci and uh, uh, Hermes. Hermes however you pronounce it, and I forget what other ones I've seen, but they go for two and three hundred dollars. There's something to look for when you, and some of the uh, brass ones that are sort of shaped like animals and shaped like different things, and uh, they go for a lot of money now, the ashtrays. So that's what I got. And I'm going to uh, put all this stuff away, take tags off, take uh, cut off the tags off the clothes, get them hung up, get my chickens in. And tomorrow I'm staying home all day and hopefully photographing and listing and doing my chicks. That's my plan for tomorrow. So Sunday is barn day. I have to go to the barn on Sunday. So I will close for now. And I uh, hope you have a nice evening. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you want to. 
and subscribe if you're new and you haven't uh, been here before. Uh, if you subscribe and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll get notifications whenever I go live because I usually don't announce. I, I just do these, you know, I'm flying by the seat of my pants when I, when I can do them. And I just do them within minutes of thinking about it. So I don't really announce it. So I will close for now and see you again next next week. I'll have a, a what sold video. Hopefully I'll sell more than I have. I, I've only sold maybe 10 things in my pile there. So I'll see you uh, when I get 20 or 25 things sold. Bye.